Okay, so just a quick drywalling tip. I've seen this a hundred times. It makes a, a lot of work for whoever's mud and taping it. So, and, and it's just a simple trick is when you're hanging your drywall, so let's, this is framed, everything's plumb and good, right? And you're ready for drywall. Um, your ceilings are typically level and your sheets are gonna be square. So instead, I've seen a hundred times where people do, you know, they'll do a piece of drywall like this, right? And then they'll do a chunk over here and then they'll fill in the chunk in the middle. So first of all, the reason that's hard is because you have to cut like three pieces of drywall, that's more work. Plus then you need backing in here because if this piece is lined up with the door opening, okay, so it comes to the edge of there. So you need backing, well you have backing here, but then you need a piece for this drywall that goes in between. You need something to screw into right here, so you'd have to put a stud in there. Right? Because then this piece is like this, then you need something to screw this other chunk into, right? So I'll just show you the proper way to do it. And this is where your layout comes into play as well. Because if your layout's done properly, then what happens is whether you're using 16 inch centers or 24 inch centers, it's always 16 inch center to center to center to center and so on, right? So it doesn't matter. Typically, if this is the end of the wall, um, a lot of times you'll have to cut your first sheet, but whatever. We're gonna just hang, we're gonna take a full sheet and we're gonna throw it on. So you just measure, let's say you measure from the end here to here, let's say for example, works eight feet perfect. You take a full eight foot sheet, bang, and you hang it. So here's your sheet and it comes up halfway on this stud Boom, boom. Then you cut this little chunk off, X. Then you hang, let's say this is uh, an equal 10 feet, you hang your next sheet, top of the ceiling, boom, boom. Let it overhang your doorway, then you cut it right here. See, and then it lands up on this stud, all your centers work out. And then what you can do is uh, another really cool trick that I that I'd like to do is if I have a chunk left uh, left laying around, I just overhang it. Let doesn't matter. It could be a random length. I screw it to my doorway, then I take my knife and I just cut it against the rough opening of the door. And then I just break the drywall off, cut it. Same over here. I don't measure this length perfect cut it because it could be off. It's just a lot easier to let your sheet overhang, screw it, do your cut with your Ulfa knife, break it off, and then just flush with your door opening. So just stay away from nuggets, right? We don't want a nugget here, here, and here. Then you have a butt joint there and there. You have to mud it, then it flares it out, and then that's the where you're gonna get a crack in your door is always on the on the corners, right? So you don't want joints there either. So. That's maybe not a quick tip, but it is a tip.